Fake News is taking action and getting results tonight as we're hearing for the first time some of those 911 calls from panicked drivers trapped in that I-95 disaster two weeks ago. You will remember it happened during that first massive snowstorm of the year. 8 News investigator Carrie O'Brien continues to dig into what went wrong that day. She's live in the newsroom, or I should say live on location tonight. With more on this story, you will see only on 8. Well, Eric, Deanna, this is just a small taste of the 2100 emergency calls. The Stafford County Sheriff's Office tells us they got over a two day period during that snowstorm. But from what we heard, we can tell you that drivers were reporting they were stuck on I-95 almost a full day before VDOT took action to shut down the interstate. Sheriff's Office. Apparently there's like a semi stuck at the top of the hill and it's back in traffic up on a 95 and people are starting to get out of their cars. That call among the first from a driver trapped on I-95. The call ringing in just before 7.30 a.m. Monday, January 3rd. Stephan, I'm the judge of the emergency. Yes, can we get a plow or something at the Johnsonville exit? The snowstorm had just started. There's like about a 10 to 15 car pile up off of I-95. And already the calls for help were flooding the Stafford County 911 dispatch center. There's no police cars and nothing like that right now. Multiple drivers in the early hours of the storm can be heard reporting accidents as well as cars or trucks stuck in the snow. There's like two regular cars and one like box truck that are stuck and one is about to go into the ditch. Some callers frantic, telling 911 they were stranded with their children in the car and running out of gas. It was so much traffic, we just stuck here. And the roads that haven't been treated, the conditions are bad. This call comes in just before 9 a.m. Monday. Stop and I'm on the side of the emergency. Hi, so I've been stranded for a while. But VDOT didn't announce it was shutting down this 40-mile stretch of 95 to move people out and prevent others from getting stuck in this interstate disaster until close to 6 a.m. the next day. Do you know if like, they're going to plow the roads or anything? I, I don't know because it's not maintained by us here in Stafford. It's a VDOT thing. Now we reach back out to VDOT to ask why the agency didn't shut down the interstate sooner. We were told that their after action review is underway. A spokesperson for VDOT says that review will include a look at their response and a timeline of events and it will be made public. We're live tonight, Carrie O'Brien, 8 News.